Well, there is the sign that was just unveiled moments ago honoring our good friend and our broadcast partner who we miss dearly, Ray Fossey. That's out in left center field. It's going to be there all year. Matches the patch that the A's wear. Sonny. That one down the middle for strike three. Throw the ball to first. Miles Straw is a strikeout victim. And one away here in the top of the first inning for Cleveland. When he does that. He's a freight train. He doesn't stop. That one just off the plate, but called strike three. So the first two batters down on strikes. Both looking. Straw and Miller. Two away in the first inning. It's that one to right field. Hits it well. See you later. Home run, Jose Ramirez. <laughs> one nothing, Cleveland, just like that. Well, he got a fastball. He didn't miss it. And his deja vu all over again. That series in L.A. getting a two-run homer off Shohei Otani on a mistake. And Otani was ahead in the count. Just a gorgeous swing against Jose Ramirez. That is gorgeous right there. One nothing, good guys. Seventh homer of the season for Ramirez, number six on the road. You just talked about, well, they pitched to Jose. Well, he had the bases empty and struck out the first two, but made a mistake. Yes, yeah, sure. So here's Josh Naylor, and he lines that one. He'll stop at first base. That'll be a single for Josh Naylor. So Frankie Montas looked tremendous to the first two hitters. Now the next two, Ramirez and Naylor. Ground ball to short. Andrews. Flips to Kemp, and that's the end of the first inning. However, Jose Ramirez doing Jose Ramirez things in the top of the first in Oakland. He drives this pitch way out of the Coliseum. Home run number seven. One nothing guards. Kemp lines one. Right field. That's going to get down for a hit. Naylor cannot cut it off, and it goes all the way to the wall. And Kemp has a leadoff double. to pitch a high fastball and a swing and a miss by Sheldon Noisy. Lowry is able to lay off. So that is a terrific at bat for Jed Lowry. Shouldn't be surprised. Not at all. That one is hit well the right center field. Straw on the move. Straw still on the move. And that baby's gone. Shot for Sean Murphy. Three to one, the A's lead. Well, on a night where we pay homage to our backstop type, number 12, Sean Murphy, the current backstop for the Oakland A's, comes up and delivers a big black. I mean, he goes down and gets it. Jed Lowry about ready to run up the back of Tony Kemp. A line drive and a base hit by Seth Brown to right field. That one's hit well to left center field. Nobody's going to get it. Straw cuts it off, gets it back in towards second base. Brown to third stops there and another hit for the A's. Straw going back, still going back. Brown will tag. He's going to score easily as the ball comes back into second base. Sacrifice fly for Billy McKinney, and it's 4-1, to the A's lead. Pop up. Right side of the diamond. It's going to be Clement, the second baseman, who grabs it, and that will do it. A's do big damage. Sean Murphy with a three-run shot, his fourth home run of the year. And Billy McKinney with a sacrifice fly, so the A's lead 4 to 1. Good one. I was hopeful. <laughs> Straw to right field. Nice job. Two strike hitting for Miles Straw. Takes it the other way, and he's aboard with the leadoff single. Outside. That ball's thrown into center field. Straw, though, will stay at second base. I believe that was ball four. Yeah, yeah. it was. So, it's two. Kids looking for some PT. 
Ball four to Jose Ramirez, and now they're loaded with nobody out for Josh Naylor. That's a sensational job. Swing and a miss. Montas with a big strikeout, his third tonight. And now two are away as the bases remain loaded. And the payoff pitch to Jimenez from Montas. Swing and a drive to right. Going back at the wall, it's gone! A grand slam for Andres Jimenez. He continues to swing that hot bat and Cleveland is back on top. What a swing. Totally redeemed himself after just a, a real poor approach on the for the Guardians. Bang! What a shot. That's your go-ahead two-out grand slam for his second homer. Gets locked in on that full count pitch and does damage. That one again a little bit off the plate. Called strike three on Clement. Fourth strikeout for Montas. But Andre Jimenez with a huge swing. Base is loaded, two outs, 3-2 pitch. See you later. Grand slam for Andres. Cleveland back on top. That you're using a, a device on his wrist to tell the pitcher what pitch to throw. And that hit Elvis Andres. Well, the A's will get a base runner, but maybe not. Do you really want the fastball? Grounded up the middle and it gets through. Little mix up between the second baseman and the shortstop. That's a big break for the A's as Elvis Andrus is able to go to third. Pache will take it. It's going to be a hit. Ramirez, the third baseman, in on the grass. That ball is hit in the air toward the left field line. Palacios in foul territory. He's got it. Here comes the throw to the plate. And coming in to score is Elvis Andrews. And tagging up and going to second is Pache. So we're tied at five. The left fielder releases the ball. He has a great angle of how high the ball is. And if it's going over the cutoff man's head, coming through is noisy. Pache's going to score. And how about the importance of missing the cutoff man and allowing Pache to go to second base? Big time. Runner goes on 3 1, and it's popped to shallow left. That's Ramirez with the shift on getting back there, and he makes the catch. So the A's get two runs in the bottom of the fourth and grab the lead. It's now 6 5. A little flare. Pache coming in, and he goes into a slide and makes the catch. Long ways, but I think he knew that he had it the whole way. Yeah. Well, you can see him just kind of sizing it up and trying to create an angle, understanding I'm not going to catch this on my feet. I am going to have to go on a slide and then the pose. 2, -two pitch, and he swings and misses on a pitch that was down. So, career strikeout number 500 ends the inning for. Strike three called on the outside corner. So three pitches, and Billy McKinney is retired. Line drive, and just went off the glove of Miller, and it's a base hit in the right field. At least it looked like he may have got a, just a little bit of leather on it. I think you're right. De Los Santos deals the 0-2 pitch, and it hit Kemp. The 2 2 and both the runners go and the ball is lined fair toward the right field corner. One run scores here comes Kemp and Kemp's going to score. Noisy's not stopping either and he is safe at third with a two run triple. Little slide piece down and away, a flick of the wrist, and Sheldon is off to the races. Got Elvis at second, he's heading to third. Tony Gibbon first on his way to second. Those fellas are going to score easily, and then here comes Sheldon Noisy. With a and 
De Los Santos strikes out Lowry, but not before the A's do more damage. Huge hit by Sheldon Noisy. Two run triple as we head to the seventh. The hitters 0 for 10 with two walks. Straw trying to change that here, and he will Dang. with the base hit to right center. Cut off by Pache, but here comes Straw for a double, and he's got it. Miles Straw leading off the top of the seventh inning with a double for Cleveland. Just had to remind him they're in a little cold spell. <laughs> Miller to left field. This one might drop and will. Miles Straw had a hold up to see if it would be caught, so he'll stop at third. Single for Owen Miller. Ozzy lines that one to right. Fair ball. Two runs will score easy. It's an 8 to 7 game. Jose Ramirez on his way to second. He doubles home two more, and the Guardians are within one. <laughs> Just saying. It's that one to right. Hit it very well. It's long. It's gone. Josh Naylor, <laughs> two run homer. The Guardians are back on top. I tell you what, he's been one of the clutch hitters in his short tenure with Cleveland. And another big swing from Josh Naylor. As it coming off the back end of that, look at his front foot down, full extension. He knew it. Boy, a rocket blast for Josh Naylor. And the Guardians have been down by three two different times today. Both times they've come back to take a one-run lead. Being so productive. Ron Miel Reyes strikes out for the third time tonight. One out here in the seventh. And Amenis continues with that hot bat. His third hit of the night. Single to right. And he's aboard with one out here in the seventh inning. Just another simple swing. Nothing. It's up by a run. Clement ground ball to third. Noisy with a nice pick. 5-4-3 double play in the top of the seventh is over for Cleveland. But the Guardians score four to erase an 8-5 deficit. They're up 9-8. Jose Ramirez, a two RBI double, then Josh Naylor, a two run homer. Jose oh, on a line to short, Andrews makes the catch. That's the only way to get him out. <laughs> Have him hit it right at somebody. Andrews saying the same thing. Swing and a miss there. Puck gets his third strikeout. Two down. Two. Got him swinging. Fourth strikeout tonight for Fran Miel Reyes and the fourth strikeout tonight for Puck. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Emmanuel Classe will try to save it. 9-8 Cleveland. Forced him to swing and he hits a fair ball down the right field line into the bullpen. Kevin Smith on his way to second, a leadoff double to start the ninth for Oakland. Exactly what you did not want. Ahead, 0-2. Fights it off and gets the runner to third. Naylor to Class A, retires Noisy. But a great piece of hitting on an 0-2 pitch. Yeah, it's again, pretty what Hedgy and Emmanuel Class A want to do. On the ground. This will wow. keep the runner at third. Two wow. outs in the ninth inning. That's an excellent job of executing the plan. Here's the one two from Classe. Got him! Inside fastball, swing and a miss for Murphy. Losing streak over. Cleveland wins tonight, nine to eight. What a ball game. Back and forth. Jose Ramirez gets you started with a one nothing lead. A's come right back and put four on the board in the bottom of the first. Aaron Savali on the ropes. With this offense, man, when they needed to show up in a big way, they did. Andres Jimenez, a go-out, go-ahead, two-out grand slam. Trevor Steffen with the win.